Like these photos? What do you like about them? Is it the colors, the grain? This is film photography, and it's making a comeback. Interested in what all the fuss is about? Let's talk about it. Any 35mm film camera will work. You can find these at thrift stores or online for pretty cheap, depending on the camera. Odds are your parents or grandparents have them somewhere in store, too. This is where you have more control over your aesthetic. Different film stocks have different effects on how your photos will turn out. Some have more realistic colors, others have a more distinct film look with warmer or cooler tones. You consider a ISO too. Higher ISOs are better for low light situations, and lower ISOs are better for daylight. Turn the dial and pull up so that the back comes out. Put in the film, stretch it to the other side, and hook it through the slot. Now, wind and press the shutter release button until it hits 1. Normally, there's auto exposure settings like aperture priority that work pretty well. They're distinguished by a big A. I suggest using these at first to get a feel of the camera. To focus, turn the front dial of the lens until the two halves come together. If you ever feel stumped, you can always look for inspiration on social media apps like Instagram or even YouTube to see what other film photographers are doing. Now that you're done with your roll of film, which you'll see once it reaches a red 36 or 24, you're going to turn the camera over on its back and you're going to see a tiny little button. Pop that button, flip the camera back over, and you're going to start turning the dial in the direction of the arrow until you hear a little click. You can pretty much pop the back open and take the film out, and then make sure to put it in a little film canister. You're gonna have to look into film labs in your area specifically, but even places like CVS or Walgreens have their own film labs that you can ship to. Why shoot film? Why go through all the trouble and the entire process when you could just shoot digital? Film emulates a level of authenticity only film can provide. It helps you understand your camera, and it makes you a more patient artist due to the slow nature of film photography. It gives you these beautiful raw colors. It can evoke nostalgia for things that happened last week. You should shoot film to go back to the fundamental basics of photography, like lighting and composition, or to try something new. And if you don't shoot film for anything else, shoot film photography because it's exceptional at capturing the small moments worth remembering that you would have otherwise forgotten.